Hi everyone, it's Mr. Jones and this is lesson four on uh, our violent planet topic. So what we're going to be looking at over the next few lessons is researching, creating, designing and writing a instruction text for a volcano. As you can see, I've given some examples on the board here. This year is going to be a bit different from previous where I'm going to give you multiple choices on how you want to create your volcano. So you can write the title and then press play when you're ready to resume the lesson. Okay, so what will it include? Uh, one to two hours of research. This is where you're going to look at volcanoes in particular and you're going to look at the shapes and you're going to find a volcano to base um, your volcano on. You're also going to have this time to research different ways to create a volcano for this project and choose a final idea that you're going to take forward to your two hours or more of design and creation. Some of you might take an hour, just over an hour, some of you might take three hours. It's going to be a bit different for some people depending on what option you choose. And then finally, you have your one hour instruction text. So the one hour instruction text will, all, will be introducing teams together and there's support in this PowerPoint for it. So to start us off, this is what everybody will be doing the same. Your research task, which might take one hour, possibly two. First, you will need to use the internet to choose what volcano you will be designing your volcano on. You will need an image of the volcano to accompany uh, your volcano. Include some key facts, such as where it, uh, where it is located, what is the height, and is it active, extinct, or dormant. So you need the name of the volcano, the location where you're going to find it, uh, is it dormant, is it extinct, or is it active, and how many meters high is it. Once you've done that and you've picked a volcano, you will then need to create a mind map on many different ways you could design your volcano. So what could you use? Are there any devices or games you could build it on? Are you going to get your volcano to explode? Are you going to use paint? Are you going to use different materials? It's up to you. So in this mind map, I need to see all the different ways you could create a volcano. So physically or through software or through paint and uh, your art skills. So add as many as you can to this mind map. Once you've done that, you need to create two small little tables looking at the strengths and weaknesses of your two final ideas. So if I pick my two final ideas, which was to create a volcano on a video game like Minecraft, and the other one was to make a physical project that explode using um, bicarbonate of soda and vinegar, I would have to break down what are the strengths of this idea and what are the weaknesses. So for the online console, it might be easy. I might say um, it's easy to access. Uh, I have a console which I can use. Weaknesses, not everyone has a console to be able to make a volcano like this. Also, it's time consuming. Also, you might have to be quite good at the game to build it to that structure if you want it to be big enough. With the physical one, you could say a weakness is you'd have to get supplies. You have to go out and buy equipment, especially during this really tough time. So that's why we've given you the option of all the different ways you can create your volcano in this project. Once you have chosen your final idea, write a short paragraph why you have chosen it and create a list of what you will need. So I chose your choice as the best way to design my volcano because. So you need to put in some evidence of why that was the best idea and why you've gone with it. And then just for your planning, you need to write a short list of what items and objects you will need. So that's your research task summed up there. Um, this will be your first possibly two lessons. So get started on this. Um, any questions, please ask your teacher in your Teams chat and uh, I will see you when you get on to the design task. Thank you. Okay, so you've completed the Research task well done. You have chosen and researched your method of designing a volcano. Now is the time to put it into practice. If you have decided to make a physical design, an online design, or a sketch design, it's your choice. Please make sure to have image evidence of your design. So when you create your item, please take a photo of it to accompany the script when you send it in. Uh, sorry, not accompany the script, the instruction text if you uh, upload it to your assignment. You have two or more hours to complete this, so whatever your choice, please include as much detail as possible.
Please do not go for basic details if you're using online, such as a Minecraft or any sort of Photoshop you can access. Please look to make incredible detail, okay, and make it as a large scale as you can. Again, with the creation, this can be a bit more time consuming because you need certain equipment and it might need time to dry if you use paper mache, but it's another fantastic option. And this option here, if maybe you looked at um, painting your own volcano with designs, that would also be a fantastic idea. Again, I'm looking for a lot of detail in these projects. I don't want a compulsory, I have to do it and make it small and quick and easy. Take some pride in your work. That's why we've given you the options. Choose which one suits you the best. You might enjoy painting or you might enjoy sketching, so that's there for you. You might enjoy being on the computer, so I've given an option in the middle. And then you might enjoy the practical kinesthetic learning of creating something, which I've given here. So please take your time on this, add as much detail as possible, and make sure you have photo evidence. Well done, crack on with the design. I'll see you in two to three hours and we'll go through the instruction text. Thank you very much. Okay, welcome back. So you should have completed your research, you should have completed your design. You are now on the instruction text. Creating an instruction text, for, for your instruction text, you will first need an equipment list. You will need to write a list of everything used. So, for example, the very basic outline I've given here, how to make a volcano, you know, through paper mache or through art or um, through my PlayStation game. What you need and a list of everything you will need. So, I mean as far from the PlayStation, I mean as far from the paintbrush. Every bit of item that you would have used needs to be in this section. Okay? So, if you're painting, you need the canvas, you need the paints, you need uh, the paintbrush. So now, on to the right in your instruction text. An instructive text is a text that instructs or tells you how to do something. For example, a recipe how to cook something. You will just structure, you need to structure this text in either steps, so step one, step two, etc., or numbered, one, two, three, like I have here. You need to start from the beginning. We know what equipment, so you imagine the person has all the equipment in front of them. If you've done a sketch or a drawing or a painting, you need to start from the beginning on what um, what you would draw first. If you want images to accompany it, that would be fantastic. It makes it much more clearer. I know from experience trying to learn to cook. If I have a photo of the recipe as well, it really does help. So what you can look at is maybe if you were doing your design, show them the first sketch you, are, you uh, need to do. If you need to mix colours, you need to put that in as well. With a paper mache, I need the exact times on how long you leave it to dry. I need what colours you've used, etc, etc, and step by step. Please don't leave out any steps. I'd like it as detailed as possible. You have to imagine that your instruction text is teaching someone how to create the exact same thing as you just created. So it needs to be clear, precise, and easy to follow. So good luck on your instruction text. Any questions, please ask your teachers in the team chat and good luck. Thank you very much for listening.